Remember, when it's all said and done, your real estate marketing is about getting the right message to the right market on the right media. Okay, I want you to forget ranking just for a second. Um, of course, it's important, but some things you don't even need to think about it. What you need to focus on is long tail keywords or niches, something that is of high intent, low search volume, but the right niche can bag you a listing in no time flat. Let me show you how. So here's how this might work. You've got a, um, a potential client, somebody selling their house, and it's rather small. It might be one of the smallest houses in the neighborhood, and they want to find out what they should price it at. Are they going to call a realtor right now? Probably not. They may go to something like Zillow, and then they'll have to do a sort in Zillow, and they might try by price or by square feet. If they try by price, they can not quite find what they want right away, and so then they'll try square feet and at least you can see houses once you sort through to the right page. So you go to the end and you have to back up until you start running into houses that are not lot and land for sale and you can look and see which ones are, are houses with a building. And so here we've got an instance where there's a home for $800,000 so that ought to throw you off because it's 902 square feet. Supposedly it's valuable because it's in a historic district or it's one of the oldest houses. I don't know, but it's been on uh, the market for, what was it, 75 days, which is like meaning it's not going to sell. And then the next one is a condo. Maybe uh, you, by the time you're looking at this, then you've got a 1,192 square foot home, a house for sale, 500000 And so it, depending on whether they have the savvy to look and see about days on market or something like that, uh, then they're getting some information. Maybe they're not that sure. Maybe they don't even do this. Maybe they go to Google and ask the question, what is the price of very small homes in Temecula? Or what is the price of homes in Temecula under 1,000 square feet? Or under 1,200 square feet? Okay, and so that's how we end up with uh, you know, the competitors changing a little bit. Here we've got uh, Zillow, but very small homes. It's out of reach of Zillow. You've got Property Shark and Point to Homes and sites like that. Well, here's what's really going to happen. Eventually, you're going to go for a search that's completely different. You stop looking at prices of homes. You realize at this point you need a realtor. You start looking at realtors that meet the qualifications to sell your home, especially as it's in a niche. Call now or go to my website at davekeys.com. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.